at Caesarea Philippi, this um, back caption of the gospel where uh, Jesus asks the disciples, who, who do people say that I am? And they say, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others, one of the prophets, as if Jesus was somebody resurrected from the dead or reincarnated and come back another person or one of the other prophets. Well, what about being the Messiah? Weren't they waiting for the Messiah? Of course they were. Why couldn't they think that he was the Messiah? Why did they have to think he was John the Baptist or Elijah or one of the other prophets? I mean, what would the Messiah really do? Well, they probably thought the Messiah was going to be riding on a white horse, a charger, uh, riding on the clouds of heaven, um, military leader, somebody famous, someone who millions of people would, who would become, where he would become the king of the world, that kind of thing. And here he was, a, a poor man walking around Palestine in a tunic, poor barefoot a lot of times maybe uh, didn't have any money depend on the, pro uh, the providence of others poor man no way the Messiah can't be like that that's what they were thinking that's what certainly the Pharisees didn't point him out as the Messiah St. John the Baptist did though and they didn't believe him or something but uh, scripture does say Elijah does as Isaiah does say, that he's going to be the suffering savior, suffering, pierced, tortured, brutally murdered, and they seem to have forgotten that. And that's what Jesus says to the disciples. Don't think like the Pharisees. Don't think like the people. The Son of Man must suffer greatly, be rejected by the elders, chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. Wasn't that what Isaiah said? But Peter says, no, that can't be you, Jesus. That can't be you. Don't say that about yourself. Protect yourself. You know, be what the people want you to be. Be the king that the people want you to be. And Jesus says, don't think like men. Don't be like, follow what Satan's inspiring you to do. Think as God does. I came to save the world through suffering. I came to die on the cross. I came to die for your sins for the sins of the world, to die for the sins of the world, to be the savior of the world in that way, not as a military leader, not somebody who was seeking glory for himself in this world. And then the question is, what do we do? What, how do we, you know, didn't Jesus do everything for us? Isn't that what the Protestants tell us? Jesus did everything. You can't lose your salvation anymore. Jesus did everything, and now just, you know, rejoice in that and accept Jesus as your Savior and you're all set. That is kind of the message that our, a lot of our Protestant brethren leave us with, which is, I say, um, incorrect. What do we need to do? We need to do everything. We need to do everything we can to work out our salvation in fear and trembling, do everything we can to avoid sin, do everything we can to please God, do everything we can to obey all the commandments. Strive to be perfect. There's a lot to do to be perfect. We have to do a lot. There's a lot to do. God's mercy will cover a lot, but we have a lot we have to do. We have to work on all of our faults. We have to work on practicing virtue every day in every aspect of our life. That's what called. God calls us to do. He calls us to be holy. That's what it is. means to be holy, to be perfect get all sin out of our life, strive against all our faults, strive against our weaknesses and selfishness. We have a lot to do every day, all day long, every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week to the end of our life. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to suffer too. Take up your cross, follow me, mortify ourselves. We have a lot of things to do, a lot of crosses to carry throughout our life. So there's a lot to do to follow Jesus. He'll be, where, he'll be with us to help us along the way. Our Lady will be as well. But we need to put our hands to the plow, our nose to the grindstone, and serve Jesus, follow him with all our heart, mind, 
intellect, all of our energy. Thank you.